Hey, romance mode, go. You. A coin or two for a veteran? Hello. It's not much to ask. Greetings. Forgive me for intruding, oh, my lady. <laughs> but I believe you're whom I'm looking for. Are you the dragonborn? Yes. Yes, I am the dragonborn. My lady, my name no is Casavir. Oh god, this I have been so searching for the dragonborn for some time now. In on. hopes of aiding you on your journey to keep the dragons at bay. Sure. I would like to offer my assistance. Come with me. Sure, whatever, I don't... yes. Ah, oh, that is just great. If it isn't everyone's favorite white knight. I was not expecting to run into you here, but the irony of it all definitely suits you. I merely wish to assist her, much as you are doing now, Bishop. She doesn't need you. Go help someone who wants your holy righteousness. It's not wanted here. But I want At with least me. with me, her moral aptitude wouldn't plummet to the flaming depths of oblivion. My moral aptitude is sure already down long, there. It has been sorely tempted If anything, to do. he would lift it up a bit more. You think a little too think highly of yourself, more. Paladin. With you along, she'd get so bored she'd sprint and dive head first into those flames. Anything to make her feel alive again. No. Enough. Glare at each other's eyeballs. Maybe you can help me. I am pleased to hear you're giving it some thought. Yes. You look like you can handle yourself. I'm you are most kind. Armor. I am skilled in the art of battle and of healing. Amazing. Tell me more about yourself. I've traveled a very long distance to get to Skyrim. I have met others along the way that have made a similar journey. Is that how you met Bishop? Our paths have crossed a few times. Uh huh. You two are clearly crossed with one another. I assume you have history? To be honest, he is nothing but a savage wolf, looking for his next victim. As a paladin, I have sworn to protect the innocent and bring justice when evil has taken hold. I defend the world from people like him. I hope that you ensure you stay here in solitude. Actually, that brings up a question I wanted to ask you, and away from prying ears. Okay, what's your question? I know we've just met, my lady, but I wanted to request your presence to attend the Grand Crystal Ball with me at the Blue Palace here in Solitude. I am new to these lands, and I am unfamiliar with the customs of Skyrim, and I was hoping you could offer me some guidance. Of course. I've been asked to attend as a guest of honor, and I was hoping that you would join me. Yes. If you choose to decline, I understand. I would love to go. You delight me, my lady. I am overjoyed that you have accepted my request. Might I suggest getting a ball gown? There is an excellent shop here in Solitude called The Jewel. They have an excellent collection of gowns that might interest you. I have already informed the owner of the shop that I will compensate her for anything you wish to purchase. Nice. Thank you, Casavio. When you get your gown and are ready, come speak to me, and I will escort you to the Grand Crystal Ball, my fair lady. <sighs> Bishop, I need to speak with you. I wish to question me about the Dragonborn, don't you? You must really be getting knotted up if you're taking the time with me. <laughs> you it has your nothing booty. to do with her. Well, in that case, you can cut the bullshit, because otherwise you and I have nothing to discuss. I am watching you, Bishop. I do not trust you, and she shouldn't either. Really, that's the best you can do. You must be like that hundredth lust-filled liquor boots maniac that's quoted that phrase to me. Funny, though. It's literally the same thing I told her about you. That you're not to be trusted. What do you mean? I told her you're not half the saint you pretend to be. 
You're the worst kind of liar, Casavir. You want so badly for people to accept the image you present that you convince your own self it's the truth. Now tell me, when you look in a mirror, what do you see? I bet you've even brainwashed your reflection. I'm bored. Hold your tongue, Bishop. No, no, you are in way deeper than that. There's not an ounce of honesty in those eyes. She's too good for you. And she's gonna oh see God, right through boys. that mask Just you put on. Slap him on the table and measure him. You may begin the night as this. Even though saint where I'm standing, paladin. his sword is bigger than yours. But the man in you will want that Spears wench in his bed. Just as any red blooded man would. And a Do freaking diaper. Don't try and play martyr with me. She's more than capable of defending her own honor. Then why are she you? She doesn't doing need it right you now? or anyone else to jump in front of her enemy's arrows. Your lust blinds you to that fact, and to the fact that she's too much woman You're for you to handle. To yourself right now. No, she wants a man who's not afraid oh, of making God. the hard decisions, I just want and who a will do what must be done. And that's it. She wants a man who's a sight more honest How than anyone who wears a, a temple's cloak Maybe on their like shoulder, women. and, and carries himself like some kind of standard for others to look up to. The afternoon is waning, guest of honor. I suggest you begin preparing yourself for the hardest struggle of your life. The hot flesh and blood woman you'll have on your arm tonight. Oh, now, God. be a good boy and Happy. get lost. You're also a good boy. Your eyebrows are fascinating. Little swirly things. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry. Okay. You, Bishop. I need to speak with you. What do you think? Uh, what do you think of. This is very close. Okay. What do you think of Casimir? <laughs> Look at the way he looks at you. It's almost like you're some sort of prize to be won. You're just jealous. Now, now, ladyship. If I was jealous, he wouldn't be breathing. Damn. Jealous and violent. Bishop, what would you think of Casimir joining us on our journey? Then I'll leave. Simple as that. Okay. I'm fine with that. Goodbye. No. Is there a problem with that? No, not at all. I don't want you here. I'd rather have him around. He can read me bedtime stories with his beautiful voice. I thought you were going to stay on this journey with Neil. When did he ever say that? Give Eve. me one good reason why I should bother staying now. Obviously, you'd rather have him follow you around like a lost puppy. Yeah, yeah. You can forget about it. I would never the travel with that damn paladin. I so have you be? with me. It's because you, want him you have a cute or puppy. Me? I definitely want him. Bishop, do you want to be stuck back in Riverwood or adventuring with me? You overestimate your charms, princess. Don't fret, I'm not about to wilt without you. I'm not fretting at there all. There are plenty of others who are more game than you'll ever be. <laughs> I swear, sometimes I just want to chop your head off and strangle you with your own intestines, feed you your own genitals. That was a bit too far, maybe. Then why do you want me hanging around anyway? I, I may don't. as well start heading back now. Okay, goodbye, but please leave the dog. He's really cute and I like him. You know you can afford a oh, you want me, do you? No, I don't. Kids, bitch, I'm yes, you bastard. I want you. <laughs> I want you to come along because you can track and scout. Well, when you put it that way, how can I say no? Yeah, I know. Wait a second, now you're coming. Isn't that what you wanted? I'll come with you like you asked, and you can think what you like about that. It doesn't matter to me either way. Just as long as the paladin isn't coming. And we're back to square one. God damn it. Casimir's a gentleman. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> you might come off that way, but he's still a man. I don't care how he justifies the lies he tells himself. He can't deny his manhood. Uh-huh. You're the kind of woman that gets a man's heart beating and the blood flowing. Uh-huh. He's not going to be able to lie to himself about that. 
So you'd better be ready when he breaks. Uh huh. Okay, are you going to the ball? No. Do I look like some sissy pants noble that would enjoy that sort of thing? No, and I don't want you to come along. Want to fill me in a little blah, 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 a bit about the blood? Blah, blah. <laughs> oh my god, I can't talk about the bad blood that exists between you two. No, I don't. Let's get something to eat. That sounds like the best idea you had since I met you. Too much Casavir can bring out one's appetite. I know his voice sure shrivels my gut. His voice is lovely. Bishop, that's not nice. Only if I wouldn't say it to his face. And I would. It's still well, not What do you want to do nice. after lunch? Buy a dress. Bishop shrugs and throws one of his arms around your waist. Of course. Okay, I didn't ask you to come along, but let's go. Hello and ah, welcome to hello. the jewel. Are you the Dragonborn? Yes. Casavir has informed me that I should be expecting you. Welcome. This place has a tree. I had it designed specifically in the likeness of the Blue Palace. Don't trust in any my God. own rendition. They will you from nothing. Would you like to browse okay, my friend's dress collection? Yes, please. Everything you desire will be given to you. Compliments of Casavir. Can I have sweet rolls to that one? Okay, um, I would like this for my wedding, please. Okay. Perfect, and, um... That is it. Have a delightful time um, at the ball with Sir Casavir. This one for the ball, thank you. Okay, I'm done. Looks great. That's good. Um, God, I'm wearing so much stuff. Uh, okay. And my amulet of motherfuckers. <laughs> Bishop. Wow, you look amazing. I know, right? Do you think Casavir will like my dress? He'll like it. And he'll hate it. Because looking at you will make his blood boil. And it's not something he's comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Do I make your blood boil, Bishop? You'd make any real man's blood boil. Well, great. But you wouldn't be flustered holding me close on the dance floor. Flustered? No. Thrilled? Yes. Excited? Yes. Without a doubt. But I lose control. Not a chance. Does that satisfy your curiosity, princess? Yes, it does. Why would I... <laughs> you're asking Bishop if you're too forward. Oh, my dear, you can be forward with me anytime. <laughs> but your knight in shining armor awaits. I'll see you later. Okay. Can I... Oh my god! Are you interested in me? Amulet of Mara, huh? <laughs> oh, go thinking I'm just gonna fall head over heels for you just because of some necklace, princess. Yes. Yes, I think so. <laughs> you think Casa would fall head over heels for me because of some necklace? <laughs> okay, let's go. Casa, I know. I fear to gaze at you. Look but at I may those lose eyebrows. Myself. Aren't they fascinating with those little swivel ass things? Uh, what will the Grand Crystal Ball be like? I am not sure. Though traditionally there should be great festivities, my paladin vows prevent me from partaking in a few of them. Aha. Uh -huh. Which ones? I must not partake in any drink that would impair my senses. Also, I must not dance too close. It would be inappropriate to encourage my sensual thoughts. <laughs> uh -huh. I hope it's an enjoyable experience, at least. <laughs> I hope it will be an enjoyable experience for both of us, my lady. And the most beautiful woman alive. Uh, What's it like living a legend straight out of a bard's dreams? Shut up, Bishop. I'm ready to attend the ball. Casavir chuckles nervously, his tears at you, a crimson blush rising in his cheeks. You smile and do you loop your arm in his and walk to the palace. See you later, princess. Goodbye. 
I shall mingle now. Hello. You're the dragonborn, aren't yes, you? Yes. How about you me. put yourself to good use and shout the door opens for us? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't tempt me, asshole. Is there going to oh, be a party, friends. or did I misunderstand the invitation and it's just an outside nice. buffet? Hello, so, wait until, huh? Wait forever just to Welcome to the club. Lights once more. <laughs> Hi. I heard they renovated this year with trim sapphires. Oh my god, amazing. Want to practice dancing out here? I really shouldn't have kept putting it off. I remember you sword techniques, not fancy foot pointing. Okay, Sam. Mingle and mingle well, Dragonborn. What you see tonight is not simply a oh, dance. Great, right. the Dragonborn is here. Drama follows her like an unwanted sapphire. smell. It is allegiances being formed. Enemies being okay, set in yeah. stone. Okay. Noble oh, names okay, falling. Alright, peasants. Bow now, the dragonborn has arrived. You announce me. Sir Casimir. Yes. The one, the only. God, I hope there's <laughs> only one or thing to get interesting. Dragonborn! Yes, me! Oh my god, that lady's wearing my dress. Murder her! I want her executed right now! Am I allowed to say damn at the grand ball? Yes, you Who's can say the F word too. Oh my good golly gosh, I do Hi. apologize for Lady. making you crease your makeup. Okay. Hi, you. Don't look at another one. Okay, goodbye. Are you gonna give us a display what? of your supposed powers tonight, Dragonborn? Shouting like a dragon, Stop was it? Tempting me. Alright, hello, Thalmor guy. You don't talk. Hello! Have you seen my partner? I think he may have had a little too much mulled wine after all the other ladies stepped on his toes. Oh, if you're okay. noticing a lack of jewelry, it's because our last ball was hijacked by the Thieves Please, Guild. We were I somehow robbed blind while dancing. Okay. Yeah. For my brave Sir Robin before the night ends. Okay. Hi, you. Such lavish engagements are just bravado, I find. In 50 years, we will be old and wrinkled. One hundred years, we're dead. Now you're the life of the party. Oh, that lady's also wearing my dress. How dare you? Dragonborn, I wanted to thank you. You once saved me from ruin by saving some farmers on my land. I'd be a farmer too if not for you. Okay, I want to know more about you. Well, being a holy knight, I must maintain my vows, constantly upholding the cause of virtue and light. I must pray to keep a pure life dedicated to honor and justice. I must never succumb to worldly temptation. So you can never be intimate with a woman? Casimir remains silent, but a scarlet blush rises in his cheeks. You're blushing, Casimir. <laughs> that I am. I must apologize, my lady. May I have this first dance? Hello, people. Hello. Have you tasted the little food? The little food is divine. Yeah, the food is amazing. I haven't eaten any, of course. Good Look at those course. people. Look at those people dancing. What is this? Some sort of advanced technique. And this, oh my god. Amazing. Alright, I'm ready. Let's do this. May I? This first dance. Yes! That's dead going. Oh god, help. That lady is wearing my wedding dress! Kill her too! Casimir leads you. Okay. Whoa. Wait, why am I so giant all of a sudden? Oh my god, and why is he so tiny? And why are we doing weird things? This is not how I remember <laughs> dancing works. You know, everything, everyone else is kind of doing it except those weird people over there. <coughs> and I have no idea what they're doing. Okay. This is how long is this gonna last? Help! <laughs> Someone free me! Come here! Come here! Help! Oh, there's a companion 
person over there. You know this? Yeah, I know this bishop. Bishop, save me! He's doing weird things. Ugh. Can I shrink now? Oh, God. I'm here, darling. Hi. Don't mind if I cut in. Uh, I can't move. I Help! Sure. Bishop. Uh, if you can dance better than him. Why, I'm here Anytime. to rescue a flustering little boy from himself. Now get lost, Casavir. She's mine tonight. Sure. You look fancy, mm. Bishop. I must say, you look quite sexy tonight. Thank you. All that armor you usually wear covers up the best parts. My arm is skin tight, Bishop. With his eyes rained on you, Bishop. Thick lips wide in the Bishop, whatever. keep your hands off her. Uh, uh, he also doesn't know how to dance. But at least I didn't turn into a chain this time. Bishop, can you not dance properly? Can no one here dance properly? Well, okay, everyone can dance properly except you two idiots. This is very weird, Bishop. Please stop. Help. Help, how dare you embarrass me in front of this crowd with your weird dancing techniques. Help. Someone save me. Ugh. Whoa, 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 absolutely. We don't think God. Bishop pulls you against him, bleeding you. No, we did this. Why were we? Oh my God! You know how to dance. You can actually dance, Bishop. I'm so proud of you. Unhand her at once. Yeah, unhand me, please. He grabs. I didn't get that. Well, at least look. That's how you dance, Casimir. Kinda ish. Well, at least it's not less awkward as before. Oh, there's someone of the Mythic Dawn over there. <coughs> How do you get in here? Okay, guys, can we stop now? I don't think I want to dance anymore. I think I just want to drink and, I don't know, eat the little foods. Because the little foods are amazing. Okay, Bishop? Can we stop this? No. We're gonna st Okay. My, oh my god, I'm free. I'm May free. I ask you to dance, my lady? No, never again. I didn't know Bishop would come to the ball. Do you wish me to cut this wild animal's head off, my lady? Yes! It would be my pleasure. Yes! Please! Yes! Do it! Forgive me, my lady. My lady, my lady. I have overstepped myself. I must profusely apologize. No, no Please need to apologize. I want to do that since I've met him. No need. Thank you, my lady. You are most kind. Yeah, I know I am. Bishop, you. I didn't think you would come to the ball. These clothes feel like they're strangling me. You look nice, though. After how mad you made Casimir, you almost were strangled. Ha! <laughs> Would have taught that self-righteous knight a lesson. Standing up for your honor when you can do it yourself. You don't need him to defend you. You got along just fine without him. Why are you here? I got bored. They wouldn't let me in if I didn't have the proper attire or whatever the hell they were going on about. It's kind of sweet how you went through all that <laughs> trouble. It's not fair if you get to have all the fun. I'm not having fun right now. Not at all, Cassavir. My lady, I inquire you for a personal question. Sure. Thank you for taking me to the ball, Cassavir. You look so beautiful. I for know. once in my life, I find myself regretting ever taking my vows. Uh, thank you, Cassavir. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe I could sweep you off your feet, like that brute of a companion you have. You're sweet, Casimir, but I know that you don't regret becoming a paladin at all. My life has its burdens, my lady. But becoming a paladin was one that I knew was the right path. Though, 
I do find myself longing another life at times. But the evening is still young and does not need to be dampened by my regrets. Oh. Oh. Wish, until our next meeting, my lady. Thank you for the wonderful evening. We must do it again in the future. Yeah, just no dancing that time. Bishop. Was that it? Oh god. <coughs> Dude. I'm really doing My fair lady. I find myself becoming concerned. Why? No worry about your current choice of companion. You mean the dog? The dog is fine. Because of you, you don't understand. He is dangerous. I, I have known don't many think men like him. They only care about their selfish gain. Weird. They only leave chaos and destruction in their wake. I am worried that he might be corrupting you. Corrupting me? You are a good woman, my lady. You don't you even know me. In the dark world. I kill things a for light. fun. But I find myself drunk. Dude! Kasabi, I. Excuse me. <laughs> Perhaps I've let my feelings cloud my judgment. Yes, you definitely I have, sir. I wish to warn you. I cannot force you to leave him, but whatever you choose, know that I am here. I will protect you with my uh, very I'm, last breath. I just wish I could take you along, but hence your single. Thank you, Cassidy. Ah, Bishop. Let's just get out of here. All right, guys. That's Start this party Dragon Ball style. Yeah. Oh, Falk! Yeah. You're here! Interesting! Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is a Dragon Ball first party! Woo! Fuck the Thalmor! Hey, you cities! You! You deserve to die! <laughs> Oh, sorry, Kazuya. That was not my intention. Kind of. Maybe it was. Who's? Rota! The Dragonborn has come! That's not how you dance! Yes! You can't win this! I can! Who's? Rota! You! You're wearing my dress. You deserve to die. You know one wears a nice dress, you piece of garbage. No one wears a dress at all. I'm the only one who's allowed to wear a dress. Uh, yes. But we got an assassin where? Oh my god, assassin? Who's? Rota! Crack crystal ball! There was the other lady wearing my dress. Who's? Rota! Where's she? F off. I need to kill that lady. Too. Who's Rhoda? Who's Rhoda? Get out of my way! Oh, Who's Rhoda? Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Where was that lady? Yo! Victory is yours! I submit. Oh, it's Who's just Rhoda? <laughs> We've got an assassin. Check the shadow. There, I see her. Let me through. Help! Oh, God help us! <laughs> The Dragonborn oh, has killed him. There's a killer about. Oh no, there's a killer about where? Stop. In the name of the Yarl. <laughs> Which Yarl? Hey, I'll say this, motherfuckers. Who's? Rhoda! This is great. Let's just. <laughs> How many of these people do you think are actually lizards? Just All of them. think about it. The skirts are so big that they're hiding their tails. Right, Bishop. I think we should get out of here. Bring you off. Oh, sorry. Mistook you for something. Bye. 